As a 65-foot Christmas tree arrived at the Capitol and was hoisted into place on the lawn, special interest groups were moving to defend their turf ahead of talks aimed at avoiding the fiscal cliff. The home building industry is warning against even small cuts in the mortgage interest deduction, a tax break designed to encourage home ownership. AARP is lobbying hard against cutting Medicare or Social Security. We see the AFL-CIO saying no benefit cuts. Uh, we want to see tax rates for the rich go up. Republicans say they are willing to make the tough choices. We've been open to revenue by closing loopholes as long as it's tied to spending cuts and pro-growth tax reform that broadens the base and lowers rates. And while Democrats want the wealthy to pay more, the Senate's leader is optimistic a deal can be struck. When it comes to our economy, when it comes to protecting middle class families from a whopping tax hike come January 1st, Republicans and Democrats will be able to find common ground. The White House, meanwhile, stressed the impact on average Americans if there's no agreement. In a typical middle class family uh, with uh, uh, two children uh, would face about a $2,200 tax increase. It also warned that no deal would prompt consumers to rein in their holiday spending. Three weeks after Americans went to the polls, the GOP may be forced to go with the flow. They paid attention to the election returns, uh, and they know that their negotiating leverage is, is diminished from, from where it was in, in 2011. And so the clock is ticking as lawmakers get back to work following their holiday break. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, Washington.